your land, know your prey. Andrew Loughran and Zap Davids were partners on the air. The two took that partnership to the next level with an appearance as prey on the popular Man Tracker show. And they had to keep the result quiet for an entire year. You know, you become really accustomed to how to answer the questions and how to deflect uh, those answers as well. So by this point, uh, basically, I'm exhausted. I, I want to be able to just, just let it all out now. The man chasing them? Central Alberta's own Chad Savage. The new man tracker was discovered down in Reno after the show's producers liked his look. When they first started talking to me, I thought they were looking for prey. And then they said, no, Terry was uh, retiring and they were looking for a new guy and asked me if I thought I could do it. And I was like, yeah. The professional hunter and guide says this was the next evolution of hunting for him. And he relished every moment chasing his prey. I get to chase these guys and it's actually more of a challenge. I mean, I can't just shoot them. I gotta actually catch them, you know. And I like to, I like to lay my hands on him. It's a, it's a rush. He's serious. He means business. Uh, but at the same time, he looks like a UFC fighter or a wrestler mixed in with this cowboy, knowing that when he catches you, he'll beat the tar out of you. Like he's intimidating. Still, you're just like, whoa, man. Like this guy is scary. He's, he's the real deal. The pair had to cover 35 kilometers of a Florida state park. And even a six-week training program at the Can Pro Gym in Red Deer couldn't prepare them for everything. The one thing that I mean really struck us was the heat. The heat was something that you can't prepare for. Mantracker says the two DJs were well prepared for the most part, but they did make a bit of a fashion faux pas. The one thing that I seen though that I knew was going to cause them trouble is they were wearing shorts, and that bush down there will cut you up. The first sighting of the man tracker made it all too real for the pair, and it was every man for himself. There was nobody else, it was me. <laughs> I'm sorry to zap, but I ran, and I just wanted to get out of there. I had to go. Yeah, he pretty much gave me the uh, Costanza. It's like, boo, out of my way. And I was like, you know, honestly, until it was over, I never saw a man tracker, because I never got a glimpse of him at all. Now, we can't tell you the result of the show, but we can say the after effects of being chased are still with them. I still, to this day, uh, I hear horses running. Uh, I see a cowboy. And I mean, now I'm in central Alberta. I'm from Ontario. There's a lot of them. And I still get a little jumpy. I get flashbacks of it still. And uh, to just to see horses still, you're just like, whoa. They kind of spook you now. Jim Claggett, Shaw TV, Red Deer. I think I see him up there.